In today's video, I'll be giving you a tutorial of the Kinmaster video editing app. I'll be covering all the basics, so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. Now, if you're new to the channel, I show you how to make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and let's jump in to this tutorial. Now, I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry if you're on Android or you're on your iPhone. It's going to be the exact same setup. It's just going to be a little spaced out because it's on my iPad, but that also means I can have a mouse hooked up so you can see exactly where I'm clicking. So to start, we're just going to click the plus button over here. I'm allow access to all my photos. And here we can change our aspect ratio. So if you're going to do like an Instagram or like a TikTok, you could do that. But we're just going to do this for YouTube. 16 by 9. That's the standard. So we're going to click on that. All right. Now this looks very scary. You see all these settings and knobs. Just don't worry about them. I'll be showing you the ones you just need to care about to get started. So if it looks complicated, don't worry. Uh, the main area we're going to be looking at is just this little knob here. Um, that's all you really have to pay attention to. Um, and then also the delete button, which we'll get into later. But so to start, what we're going to do is click on media over here and that's going to open up all our footage where we can find it. You can choose all, uh, I actually have a album called video editing, uh, where I have all the videos we're going to be using for this tutorial. Uh, so what we can do then is just click on our videos and they're added right to the timeline. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on all of them. There we go. And then we can click the check mark. And then if we want, we can use our finger and we can scroll through and take a look at all the videos added to our timeline. If you want to rearrange your clips and move them around, uh, the easiest way to do it is to take your fingers and you're just going to pinch and it'll zoom out. And then what I do is I click on the video, I hold down my finger and I grab the clip. See, I have it now. I can actually move it right over. There we go. Let go. And see, now I moved it to this spot. And you can do that for any of the clips. You can just click on them, grab them, move it over, let go. And there you go. You can move the clips around. If you want to trim your clips, all you have to do is click on the video. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. Uh, the first way is you can just grab either edge of the clip and extend it and move it just like that. Uh, otherwise, if you want to be a little, the way I think is easier is just line up wherever you want to kit, uh, clip it. And then you just go over to the settings here, click trim slash split. And then just click either trim to left of the playhead or trim to right of the playhead. So if I wanted this part removed, I could just click trim to the left. I can scroll over to the spot where I want it to cut out at the end. Trim to right of playhead. And there we go. It easily cuts it right at that spot instead of just trying to use my finger, which could be like inaccurate from where I want it to be. Now, if you do make a mistake and you just want to reverse an action, uh, over on the side here, there's actually this button here, which reverses any actions you did. So I can click reverse, which will reverse our trim, click it again, and reverse the other side. So you can use these buttons to reverse mistakes in case you do something wrong. If you want to delete a clip, you can just click on the video, and then on the sidebar here, you'll see the delete trash can. You can just click that, and it'll delete the clip. Uh, now I'm just going to use the back button because I want that video to stay in our timeline. If you want to crop in on your video, uh, what you can do is click on your clip. You're going to click on pan and zoom. And then what we're going to do is click this equals button. And what that's going to do is uh, technically in pan and zoom, you can make a video zoom. But if you click this equal button, it's going to allow you to crop your video. So once you do that, you can just use your fingers on your screen zoom in to where you want it to crop move it around there we go and then you can click the check mark and your video is cropped in if you want to add transitions to your video all you got to do is click the plus button that's right between both clips so i'll click on that and then they actually have a whole bunch of different transitions you can choose from so you could do this one you know there's a whole bunch of weird transitions you could choose from to put into your videos if you want to add text to your videos, all you got to do is click on layers, click add text, and then you can type your text into the box, click the check mark, and it'll add it to the timeline. You can then resize it. Maybe we'll move it right here. And then on the side here, you have all your settings for your text. So you can change here your font and make it a little more bold. Click the check mark. Here we go. 
Uh, you can add backgrounds to it. You can cause animations. So you could have it transition in and out. Uh, there's a lot of different options here that you can go through to really customize your text and make it look professional. If you want to add music to your videos, you literally just click on the audio button and you can access your internal files if it's saved to your files on your phone. Uh, otherwise, you can go to like your Apple Music and different stuff like that and be able to add music to your timeline. Uh, personally, I like to use a screen recorder. I actually did a video on how to add music to Keenmaster and get vi music off of YouTube into your timeline. I'll have that link down below if you want to watch it. But here you can access all your internal music on your smartphone and use it. Now, if you want to add a photo on the top of your video, like to have it in the corner while you're talking, uh, what we can do is click on layers and then we can click on media and then we can go to our photos or videos. And what's really cool is you can stack videos upon videos. So if you're doing a reaction channel or a gaming channel and you want to have your video playing in the corner and the main video, you gaming, you can do that within this app. So if I want I could stack a video on top of a video. Uh, otherwise, I could also put a photo. I can just go down the photo here, click that, click all, and I'd be able to add photos. So. I could click on, for example, this Instagram logo. There we go. I can resize it. I could put it in the corner like that. And then on the side here, you do have all those awesome uh, features like that you can use to enhance your photo, whether that's animations or filters, etc. If you want to do some color grading to your footage, you can actually go into, uh, just click on the video, and then you can go to... Uh, there's a few filters features here. There's the filter button. So they have some built-in filters that you can apply to your video. And you can also click on this knob here and adjust how powerful that filter is. So what we could do is, let's see if we can find a nice one here. Eh, it doesn't look too bad. So we'll apply that a little. Check. And then what we can also do is there's the vignette option here. So you could apply a vignette to your video and have that black coming around on the sides there or you could click I click it again and turn it off uh, and you can also go to adjustments and you can control like the brightness the contrast saturation basically the amount of color uh, etc within these options here when you're finished editing your videos you can click this button here which is the export button you can then choose your frame rate your resolution how high quality it's going to be then you can click export and then you'd be able to upload it in the YouTube app or the TikTok app, etc. Now, if you're interested in learning some more advanced features within this app, like how to add a subscribe button, your social media handles, etc., you can actually click on this video right here. I did showing you the advanced editing tips within Kinmaster. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys over here.